Hello everyone, Payment Dynamic Approval app allows user to setting and dynamic multi-level approval for the payments. In this module, approval flow can easily set as an user approval and group approval. Here, the approval will get the notifications about the approval and once approved, user will get the notifications regarding the approval and if reject or cancel, user will get that notifications as well. After installing this module, let's get into the invoicing. Under configurations, we can see an option for configuration for an up payment approval. So here I have created one payment approval configurations and I have set a minimum approval amount as 500. And here you can see that I will enable and buyer always in the CC. And in this approval details, you can see we can add a multiple level of approval based on the user and as well as the group. And the first one will be I have created based on the user. Okay. And I have added one user here. And for the second one, I just add a group and I'll enable a group right away here. User with and payment approval user group rights will have an access to approve the second level of approval that we have created. Okay. Now let's save this one and get into and customers where we can see the payments. Now let's create a new payment. Okay, and we need to add all the informations right away here. So here in this page, you can see that I have enabled all the informations and below that you can see the approval info. Okay, now let's confirm this order. You can see that the first level of approval will be based on the user and which will be in Mohitrana. Okay, and you can see that I'm in the login of Mohitrana. So now let's approve the first one and there will be an option to reject as well. Okay. So before approve, you can see that mail will be sent to the user and this will be the mail and here you can see the content of it okay so after approved you can see that it will be waiting for an approval for the second one you can see the level of approval will be two and it will be based on the user so the user with this group will have an access to approve this particular second level of approval now you can uh, see that i have created one user let's get into the user and companies and here you can see this is the demo user and i have enabled user access for this particular user okay now let's log in as a demo user so here you can see that I'm in the login of demo user. So let's get into the invoicing under customers. You can see and waiting for an approval one where you can see all the waiting for approval. And here under customer, you can see my approval tab where you can see my approvals alone. Okay. So here let's get into the waiting for an approvals where you can see that this will be the approval which we have created now. Okay. So now you can see that it will be in the stages of second level of approval. Okay. So once you can approve from using this option, it will send an mail directly to this uh, particular user. In the content of, uh, you can see the content, dear user, this is to inform you that your payment is posted. You can view your payment details right away here. And here in this approval info, you can see that who is approved the first one and on which date and time can also be seen here. Now let's see the workflow of and reject payment. So for that, let's create one another payments. So for that, we need to get into the payments under that you can see and create option. Let's create a new one. And here I'm going to add a payment as 5000. Okay, so let's confirm this. Once you have confirmed, it will be sent and mail to the user that like, submit for an approval. So now it will be waiting for an approval for the first person. So the first person will be the Mohitrana. So Mohitrana needs to approve the first level of approval. So let's log in as a Mohitrana. Now you can see that I'm the login of Mohitrana. So let's get into the invoicing under customers. We can see the my approval. Okay. So here you can see the reject payment. Okay. If needed, this person can reject whenever they need. And here we need to give the reject reason. So once you have added the reject reason and once user click on the reject, you can see that the first level of approval will be in the reject state now. And here we can see and reject the date, rejected by and also the reject reason can also be seen here. And for reject, it will send an mail. So for that, let's get into the settings. Under technical, we can see an emails where you can see the reject emails right away here. And this is the content of the reject email like dear user, this is to inform you that your payment is rejected. You can view your payment details right away here. Okay. And you can, for summit, you can see the summit and also if it is posted, you can see the posted mail as well. 
In this way, we can make use of this module to make a multi-level of approval based on the user approval and group approval. If you have any queries regarding this video, you can ask in the comment box. We will definitely solve your queries. And if you feel this video is helpful to you, you can like this video and subscribe our YouTube channel for more Odoo related updates. Thanks for watching.